mid-1970s, the draft was over. Anti-war sentiment was very high. And as a result, recruiting was very, very hard. Many recruiters were missing their quotas. In that environment, my boss and I at CNA took a trip to the Marine Corps Recruit Depot at Paris Island, South Carolina. And we went down to the office of the commanding general and had a sit down chat with him and he sort of gave us the background of the situation. And he said, you know, very memorably, these aren't bad people. He wanted to emphasize that. These were good people, but they were just not smart. And this was very, very, very strange to us because we had, we had looked at the ASVAB scores that these kids had, and they were pretty good. So something was clearly wrong. Now, by ASVAB, we mean the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. It's a qualification test taken by all recruits of all services, particularly non-high school graduates. Their, their test scores from the original ASVAB looked good. Their test scores on the subsequent follow-on test looked bad. And uh, that was a clue that something was desperately wrong with the first test. Test scores do matter. They matter a lot. They represent our best means of predicting future performance. Simple as that. And uh, when you're off on your test scores by 17 percentile points, that's a big deal at the low end, particularly. Uh, really, two fundamental problems we found. One problem was that there was an immense amount of cheating going on on the test. The other problem was that the ASVAB appeared to be misnormed and was inflating the scores of the people in the low end. So we focused on the misnorming first and spent probably five years working on that issue. We first put in place a fairly straightforward internal consistency check on the ASVAB. Most importantly, it enabled us to identify recruiters who were coaching their kids on the test. And that was a big help in cutting down the problem. <laughs> because at least the Marine Corps came down pretty hard on And I think some of the other services did too. So that was the first fix to the cheating, although it was only a partial fix. The um, real fix to the cheating was to develop a new form of ASVAB called the Computerized Adaptive Testing ASVAB, known as CAT ASVAB. So once we got the, this Computerized Adaptive CAT in place, that pretty well wiped out the cheating. So now we've got the two problems solved the misnorming problem and the cheating problem. And that produced vastly better recruits in subsequent years and still does to this day. All of this success would not have been possible had it not been for the Marine Corps deciding they wanted me to represent them on this joint service committee that oversaw ASVAB. This gave me a forum to spread my ideas around and a forum in which to help make decisions on what to do about it. Usually at CNA, we get a project, we study it real hard for a year or so, put out a report and move on to something totally different. Well, I stuck with this damn thing for 15 years <laughs> and I know it pretty well. And that the fact that CNA let me do that, for whatever reason, <laughs> helped a whole lot. I know I truly made a difference. To do something that affects all of DOD is really quite an accomplishment, I think.